I try to look at your information about who knows who, who do you talk to, who are your friends, what are you doing, where are you doing it, why are you doing it, and I try to predict that and I try to use that to predict things about other people. I'm Kathleen Carley. I'm a professor at Carnegie Mellon University and I'm the director of the Center for Computational Analysis of Social and Organizational Systems. We want to be able not just to understand ourselves and the adversary, but we would like to be able to anticipate and predict behavior. And computational modeling is one of the most robust ways of doing that because it lets us bring to bear everything we know about their culture, about our culture, and lets us look at people as the adaptive, cool, learning people that they are, but without actually infringing on people. So computational modeling refers to basically being able to run experiments uh, using the computer to stand in for uh, people, organizations, events, and so on. We actually use real-world data that people produce, like newspaper articles, uh, Twitter data, and so on. And we use this thing called text mining, which means going into your these bodies of information and pulling out the information about who knows who, who is talking about what, who is doing what, and, and so on. The second thing that we do is something called dynamic network analysis, which is where we get that information and we put it into these graphs, these networks, these patterns of nodes and ties, and then say, okay, given this pattern, how can we identify points that are important? Like, who's the most critical individual, or what's the location where the most bad stuff is happening? And the third thing we do is then we take all of this, and we use that to set the starting conditions for these uh, simulation models. We use these um, techniques where we're modeling different things that represent people and groups and trying to forecast their behavior over time. We're unique in part because we go from text to the networks to the simulation, so we're like a one-stop solution. We're unique because we combine computer science and social science and treat them equally in our solutions. But we're also um, unique because we do things at kind of an in-depth analysis perspective by really understanding the content of the data and in-depth understanding of the data rather than superficial understanding. Computational modeling is just really fun. <laughs> um, a lot of people get very, very intrigued with it and like all my students come in and say, oh, I want to do this. But it's still really hard. It's hard for a beginner to get started. And so we need to be able to think how to make it so that it's easier for people to do so it doesn't take you know, three PhDs to run it. If you only go with non-basic research, you're basically taking what you already know how to do and just doing more of it and doing it faster, but you're not answering what tomorrow will be like. And to answer things about tomorrow, you need basic research.